I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, orbital rhabdomyosarcoma. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a five-year-old male presenting with left eye proptosis and orbital swelling. On MRI, we see a large exophytic left orbital soft tissue extraconal mass arising from the superior aspect of the orbital cavity. The lesion is seen to cause mass effects on adjacent structures. Here on T1, we see that it's iso-intense to adjacent muscles. On T2, we see that it's hyper-intense. And on T1 with contrast, we see avid post-contrast enhancement. This is the pathology report with a final diagnosis of anaplastic rhabdomyosarcoma. Rhabdomyosarcoma is a highly malignant tumor and is one of the few life-threatening diseases. It is the most common soft tissue sarcoma of the head and neck in childhood, with 10% of all cases occurring in the orbit. Rhabdomyosarcoma has been reported from birth to the seventh decade, with the majority of cases presenting in early childhood. Orbital rhabdomyosarcoma is usually extraconal or both intra and extraconal, and more commonly supranasal in location, especially for embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. The mass is usually close to extraocular muscles, but there is no enlargement of the muscle belly. In the early stages, the tumor is well circumscribed, but in later stages where there is pseudocapsular invasion, the borders are irregular. There may be some bone deformity, but frank bone destruction with bone involvement is rare, and the diagnosis in this case will change from orbital to perimeningeal RMS. The tumor may show hemorrhages and cyst formation.